CTV family. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Lama has decided to take a nap because it's so comfortable. This just proves that this space is really conducive for all things, including <laughs> napping. <laughs> okay, you are still at the Valencia Institute. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're still enjoying the show, remember the hashtag to use XA Live and hop on all our social media pages and let us know. I mean, we spoke to you the last time. You were preparing for it. And now it's here. I know sometimes I prepare for things. I'm like, okay, I think they're going to go a certain way. Do you feel like it's reached all your expectations? I think so, yeah. I think it was some, we set up some great attentions, really about building strong rituals, almost like taking some old traditions and upgrading them. Yeah. You know, like one of them uh, was like something new that we did. It's like as they came, they got the access cards. We almost did like a Honolulu lay ceremony yeah. to welcome them into the community. Uh -huh. And like we had like a really beautiful moment. Yeah. And I think that was just like really cool to sort of do something that's quite old school in a completely new space, yeah. you know. When you're debriefing with the learners, um, what are you taking away from? from them what are they saying because um, yeah. they're fairly new to the space and um, we spoke to them earlier on and they're quite enjoying the yeah. space and the learning here um, when you debrief what are, what do they say sure yeah i think it's the our ig students our older students are down here yeah. and i think what they what i see them doing is that they you know they like to work in one space when the sun is out and when the yeah. sun is getting a bit hot then they move into this space yeah. you yeah. know it's like and I think that just like they can just listen to what their body is asking mm. and they can work in a way that sort of is uh, is comfortable for them. If they want a little bit more structured, they go upstairs. Right. Mm. So I think they've just been loving that. I think the big question here is and the big answer is freedom. Mm. Sure. It's this freedom to plan and choose how your day goes yeah. and that not everything is happening to you, but yeah. you can also make things happen yourself. Right. Yeah, I mean, and, and I can't just imagine leaving home in the tender age of grade eight. And I've been speaking to most of them. And they're like, no, we don't miss our parents. So how, is, how has that switch been for them? Because I know it's, it's probably not easy going from a class of people. You have a, a structured thing going to differently. I mean, the mentors are there to help them, to guide them into a new process. But how do you feel like they're taking it so far? Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely some new habits to learn. Like everything is about self-directed learning. Yeah. So that doesn't just happen overnight. Yeah. So we are just reinforcing a lot of those new rhythms and new skills. And that's actually what I've been working with them in our learning compositions mm. is like they've actually like they're planning their Google calendars every week. Yeah. What when they're working yeah. on that, they're choosing when they're going to do it, you yeah. know. So like I think they're putting in the extracurricular. Mm. They're saying when are they going to wake up in the morning? Mm. When are they going to turn off their technology at night? You know, so I think as soon as you start like this, like not just planning, but designing your week. Mm -hmm. So is it filled with things that are also meaningful to you? Mm -hmm. I think that's what this allows. It's like there's a little bit more space. It's not just all kind of going to lessons, but also maybe doing cool projects with your friends. Mm -hmm. And that's what this space allows is that freedom. We're going to have to let you go very soon because in less than three minutes, you're going to a classroom. Um, what's going to be happening? What's going to be happening there? Sure. So that's actually what I just spoke to you about. So we, I have these weekly sessions with the kids called Learning Compass, mm -hmm. where then we teach them life skills, mm -hmm. study skills. And at the moment, we're learning how to plan our weeks so that we, you know, make sure that you get through everything for the week. But also about like, you know, some of them are getting up earlier. Yeah. 
So what about your routines in the morning and the afternoon and the evenings? Mm. So I think like those those skills is like what I'm working with them on at the moment. Yeah. And I guess it's a life skill that you do not necessarily only need for school. Yeah. You're going to grow up, be a professional, yeah. be a human being amongst other people. Mm. And you're going to need these skills that you're getting taught at a tender grade of eight. Like, listen, I was speaking to Kai earlier and she was saying that she was like, it helps her realize what she's going to need to do when she's in a working environment. And I'm like, the fact that she can even think that far our head is amazing and we wish we had the same things but unfortunately we're gonna have to let you go so <laughs> you do your job ladies and gentlemen make sure you do stay tuned where are we heading now well first and foremost i'm still upset that there's a hiking this coming friday and we're not, not involved <laughs> they had ice cream last week we were not there what are we gonna miss I don't want to know. I don't want to know. But what you do want to know, though, is where you can find Valencia Institute. So make sure you do go check them out. Ladies and gentlemen, for me to you, it's all love. Goodbye. TV family.